Look at this, I've got a new friend. So I can keep practicing on this. That's better than having to stick it on the stick. Yeah, I was just um, just fastening a nail tip to end of this stick again uh, and trying to make a cuticle out of blue tack, believe it or not. Uh, and then my husband says, you're struggling with that, aren't you? He says, here you are, have an early Christmas present. So there we go, got a new friend here. Ah, lovely. This into a bit of a vlog with the uh, practicing nails journey. Uh, this is the carnage that is me um, practicing. So I do have a, a little rubbish part, but things don't always end up in it. So I've just ordered myself some clear and white tips to go on this. But I must admit, I'm right enjoying using it. It's it nice. It's nice not to just have a nail tip on them things. Um, yeah. So I've had my drill bits out. I've tried a bit of this chrome powder that I bought um, quite please look at that light on that it's fairly straight until you move it yeah so uh, I've practiced with a couple I've been building them with acrylic and I've got a um, coffin coffin shape and a ballerina with the squared Bottom. Well, it was squared until I kept capping it with uh, doodah stuff, uh, gel polish. And then I've chromed it and top coated it, so that's all right. It's not perfectly, it's not perfectly shaped, but I can feel ever such a slight bump there. And... Yeah, bit of a bump there. Uh, other than that, I don't think they're bad at all. You see, it goes in. Where is it? It goes in there. It like curls under a bit more. I can't have had the form straight, to be honest. Um, but I'd be quite happy if I did them on me, but I wouldn't be able to function if I did them on me. Uh, and that coffin nails I bought from the side. What do you think? What do you think for first? They look a bit weird on these fingers, don't they? But um, for first shape, yeah, I've managed to get that one a lot flatter there. I think that's a, a better shape. That one's a bit still a bit too thick at the bottom there, I think. I won't be able to stand them that thick. Yeah, so I'm going to have fun with these. Uh, and I'm just watching a bit of Kirsty. Uh, I'm trying to find some new channels. Uh, so if there's anybody new on YouTube, if you've subscribed to me, I'll send that back to you. Um, hopefully that is if I do get to see who's subscribed, because unless you allow people to see who you're subscribing to, it doesn't show me, because I've got about 80... Should we have a look? See how we're going. I'm on 89. So thank you, 89 of you. <laughs> right. Um, tomorrow, don't be rude, put fingers down. Uh, tomorrow, I need to have a go at, um, what else do we need? I need to do an almond and a stiletto. Yeah, I'll have a go at that. Look at the size of that thumbnail. Yeah. Ooh. Right. That's it for tonight. Uh, I've got three videos already done that um you might have seen some of them already when this comes out but i've got three done sneak preview black and gold and uh well it's not a preview if you've already seen it is it <laughs> yeah anyway that's what we're doing and uh yeah back on it tomorrow i'll show you me doing uh the next one Right, I've set up for filming. Uh, we have Strictly uh, Strictly Dancing uh, in UK. Uh, and I've watched that and I was very tearful. Uh, and then it's now 
10.36 p.m. And I can't resist coming to have a go at this. So I'm going to do these in a separate video so that this one do not get too long. So I want this to be a bit of a vlog, really. So this is how I'm set up. Kitchen. Kitchen table. All my gubbins. I must find some way of organising that. Um, Favourite grandma mug, which is a bit chipped, but... There, that's it. Uh, E-cig. Very naughty, I know, but that's what I do. Uh, and then my new hand. So I'm going to get cracking. See how we go. Hey up, <laughs> that's Yorkshire for hello. Uh, I thought I'd show my face in as I'm sat here amidst all my uh, stuff again. I'm using my practice hand, how do you do? And uh, I've just had another go at um, the French, you know, reverse French smile line thing. I'm absolutely amazed. I'm absolutely amazed. Doing it on here instead of one of these tips has uh, been brilliant. Um, can you see? It's a weird, weird looking contraption, I know. But look at that now. Look at that. I'm quite pleased with that. I'll put some... Uh, ooh, just going for natural with that. Uh, I'll put some top coat on and we'll have a look and see what it looks like. Uh, what does she do, Kirsty? Wipes it down with some acetone first. Because apparently it makes it even smoother uh, if you wipe it down with the pure acetone. Um, whilst my... Oh, God. Just put it all over my own fingernails. I was just about to say whilst managing to not get it all over your own fingernails. Um, never mind, it's about time I swapped for something sparkly anyway. I'm talking to my daughter today and she says, oh, they'll look nice then for Christmas Day. I says, well, don't bank on it, they could be red by then. It depends on how much faffing I manage to get done. So, yeah. Oh, that's looking nice already. Top coat, top coat. I love French me. I know it's kind of gone a bit out of fashion now unless you're having it in lime green or fluorescent. Oh, I've been looking at a video. Somebody did a galaxy video with the... Um, have you seen the sort of magnetic paints? Uh, magnetic polishes. Um, and obviously you, you hold a magnet against it. And it... Uh, it moves the magnetic pigment inside it around and it made like swirlies and she did purple uh, and blue on her I think it were a black background um, oh, I'm quite pleased with this because I've managed to get it thin near what would be the cuticle on a real person which I can tell because I can see through it uh, either that or it's non-existent I've just put top back on this for this goes and uh, I'm going to have a look at uh, what sort of videos I'll be putting up. Today I have uploaded to YouTube one with snowflakes and uh, red glitter. Uh, so I've, well I clicked upload and then I came downstairs to make some chilli for tea so I'll nick back up and see. So I put one on yesterday but that might work tomorrow. Look I've not put in the light yet but that's not bad, is it? That's quite a nice uh, V. Do you know what I wish on these hands? I wish that tip came off at the end without the nail falling off. But it doesn't. If you take that off, it comes off. But yeah. Oh, I didn't paint it just onto one of them, by the way. I did cut it down. <laughs> I cut it down and put a foam on and built it. Uh, for practice, I could have just painted it onto that, but no, I built it with, um, it's the aqua gel, this one. Yeah, there's me, my hand, in my hand. Uh, and because it's on the hand, it's easier to just set my lamp. Oh, let me turn it on. Uh, it's easier to just set my lamp on and uh, hold it over it. 
Yeah. I'll just take it off the hand and show you. There. Too focused. Come on, focus, stupid thing. Anyway, I'm quite pleased with that shape. It's a ton better than the last one. I'm going to keep all these in a bag and then I can see progress. I ought to stick them in date order. Um, if it starts to go backwards, I'm going to get worried. Um, yeah, thank you everybody for subscribing and leaving me comments. It's lovely. I love, I love this interaction. And um, Lynn asked me, well, said she was thinking of starting to do her own. And uh, what would I recommend us to get for starting to do it? Um, and I said I'd put it in this vlog. So, thank you, Lynn, for your question. Um, depends which way you want to go, whether you want to just gel polish or whether you want to build your nails. Um, I want to learn everything um, from gel polish techniques, gel polish art, and building with acrylic, um, acrygel, and then... I want to have a go with these builder in a bottle and then the hard gels in a pot. I want to have a go with those. There's also silk wrap, which I think is probably one of the easiest, to be honest, because it's just pieces of silk or fiberglass or whatever and glue. And you layer it up and you spray it with an activator. So that's probably the easiest of the sort of kit things I've tried from um, Boots. And some of them aren't too bad. Uh, Kiss, they're pretty good at doing kits. And Nailene. Um, but if you want to start getting all the stuff for this, I'll tell you the things I'm glad I bought. That might be easiest. Because obviously I've not tried every make. I've not tried um, every sort of avenue that I can go down as yet. But what I'm pleased I got to start off with is the set of basic gel polishers. And on top of the colours, a base coat, um, and if you want to do any sort of designs, a matte coat and a non-wipe top coat. So they're the basic things. Um, the 100% alcohol's been great, because when I get me brush a bit manky, uh, not alcohol, acetone. Um, some people say don't put your brushes in acetone, well I wouldn't soak them in it, but I don't see why it would hurt my brush to moisten it with it and then scrape what I've used, because I got some acrylic jammed in it earlier, uh, so I've just podged it about in some acetone and then I've used back of my tweezers just to scrape out the bits uh, and it saved my brush, it, uh, it now looks like this. So that's all right. Probably still got a bit left in there, have I? Yeah, look, can you see? I've got a tiny bit left to still to get out. Um, it's very hard not to knacker your brushes up when you're doing acrylic. Um, doing the acrid gel, it don't mess your brush up, you see. You just put it in your solution and it comes out. And if there's any left in your brush, it don't really matter. As long as it's not near a lamp and you cure it. Um, so, set of nail polishes, base coat, a matte coat, which is great for if you're doing any sort of designs, otherwise you have to buff everything. Um, and then a uh, no wipe top coat, um, some sort of solution if you're using the gels, but I'd recommend buying the solution that goes with the gel you're buying them, you know, chemistries. Okay, um, and for the powders, for the acrylic powders, just clear uh, and get yourself as big a pot as you can afford. Um, if you think you're going to carry on doing it, if you hit a wall and then you don't carry on with things, then obviously only buy a bit. But uh, once I've got the bug, I'll not be defeated. Uh, I've got to keep going. Uh, so I should, next time I buy some, I'll buy big pots and i've seen some hacks on um youtube look them up for making your own colors by adding chalk or mica or something which is a 
darn good idea, I think. Um, so with the acrylic powders, you need your monomer. Um, does smell though, and I'm not sure whether it, I've been getting a bit like sick headache and I don't know if I just am because I'm tired or whether it's something to do with the smell from the monomer. We'll see. Uh, oh, no lint wipes. And um, they came as an option of buying about 3,000 and they ended up buying 500 and said, now we should have bought 3,000. Um, brushes, because even if you're not wanting to do any nail art, if you buy one of these kits, I'll put the links in to the video with the Emily. Uh, you know, and I bought the bits and bobs with the glitter. This. I'll put the link to this in. Uh, price has gone up to about 16 quid, which is probably because it's Christmas. And uh, it is a lovely little gift set, to be honest. Uh, I've so far used the loose foil, the stones, the striping tape, the uh, foil dinner thing in a pot. Uh, what else have I got? Oh, I'm going to use the stickers. Uh, oh, I have used I've used a chain on one. Um, yeah, so I've used most of the stuff that came in that, to be honest. And the brushes that came, it's, you get like a, like a set that's got all different shapes and sizes of fans and things. But the main things you want is like some little ones to clear the outside of your nails with. Um, there's a, an angled one there, which is probably good. I mean, they'll not be super quality, will they, when you get them in a kit. But if you're just learning and you're just trying out, we're going to ruin brushes anyway. So, yeah, I think the kit's quite good. Uh, Lamp-wise, mine is the Sun, Sun 5. Uh, I can't find exactly the same thing, but it's a... Uh, um, it, mo some of the polishes that I've got that say 30 seconds, uh, I tested on a bit of paper and I found that they were probably better after 40 when they've got colour in. Um, if it were a clear one, they'd probably be fine. But... I don't know if I'm just being overcautious or not, I don't know. But this is a, uh, don't tell me what is on here, is it on the back? No, I think it says 48 watt, not sure. Uh, not sure, make your own choices, but this says UV LED. And one thing to, I particularly looked at after researching is, um, lots of time settings, so it's got 10, 30 and um, 60 seconds, but there's a low heat mode, which does a 90 second heat, but it starts very low and then builds up because um, I don't with everything, but with some things I'm, I'm edging towards getting that heat spike, you know, when you put your hand in, you go, ah! Um, so... Very dark colours or anything with foil in, uh, I can get a heat spike. So I'll put it, kind of tease it into the lamp a little bit at a time or put it in just for a few seconds. And as soon as it starts to feel warm, I just take it out for a little bit, let it cool down and then put it back in. And then add that time that I've missed out of the lamp on after. So that 90 second thing avoids that. So if you've got thin nail beds or you're very sensitive to it, it avoids it, so that's, that's one thing I particularly looked out for. The drill, I did say in the first video that I thought it was absolutely rubbish. I think it was more um, the bits. The bits that came with it are all right as far as... Uh, let me take that one out. And I can't tell you the brand, I can't pronounce it. This one is... T K O O F N, but it's one of those things where you know everybody gets them branded, but they're all coming in from the same company in China, so they'll all look identical. Um, I'll show it there. They all look identical on on Amazon, um, but they will um, they'll have got different brands. They'll have put their own branding on, so it's got on off. Uh, it says polarity, so forward and reverse. 
speed there, but it doesn't tell you how many RPM you're doing. Um, but it is a uh, 12 watt, um, 0 to 17 volt DC uh, AC. T130 degree, I don't know what that means. I don't know what any of that means, I'll show it you. Yeah, that's what it says. Uh, this one is model MR201. So that's right way around. But it's done it. I've managed to get down um, acrylic with it. Uh, just a sanding band that comes with it is fine for gel because it's a lot softer. Uh, in fact, you don't need one of these if you're wanting to use just gel polish or acrid gel or something because it's a lot softer to sand. But I would say you definitely need one if you're going to have a go with acrylic. Um... What else am I glad I bought? Orange sticks, if you're dealing with anything to do with foil because it sticks like buggery to anything that's at wood. Nail files. Um, I've got uh, these three, which you can... Uh, I've got them in order. Uh, these three, and you can see which I favour because of the state of it. Now... If I wanted to do side walls on acrylic, I'd probably use 100 and then move fairly quickly onto 150. But this has got a lovely feel when you're using it and you're not going to take too much off. Thing is, if you take a bit off and it don't look right, you take a bit more off. Uh, if I go in alpha leather with one of these and I've took all one side off that, and it don't look right, I can't put it back on without having to start again. So I like this, the 240. If you don't buy anything at all, get yourself a couple of them. Um, but these will just speed it up for you. So the ones I'm comfortable with, the feel of it against, you know, against the thing I'm um, filing is the 150 uh, and then the 240 and then a buffer. But if you get any of these kits, have a look what's in it. They all vary. Some have got um, bling uh, and diamond bits and brushes and others have got sanders, sanders, files uh, and stuff like that. So... I hope that helps. I know I probably talked a bit quickly. I might have to stop and pause and go back and have a look. But yeah, that's the things I'm really pleased I've bought and I've used practically every single time I've sat down here. So yeah, I'll see what else we can come up with in a week. I'll uh, show you when I've do, done a few more of these and then I think we'll call it a day on that. And I must get on and edit and upload the other things. Otherwise it'll be Easter and you'll be wanting bunnies now I'm giving you red glitter. I'm back. Something I forgot to say. Tips. Get yourself some tips uh, for practice. You don't want to practice on yourself. Um, these ones came with the hand uh, and I bought white, clear and beige, which incidentally, if you do, if you do buy one of these hands, it does show a picture and says that they will fit. But when you come to put them on, they don't want to fit. Um, they're a bit thick. Where's my battery going? Uh, they're a bit thick there, that piece. That piece slides inside the finger. And they're a bit chunky on the bottom, so I just filed them bottom edges off and then they did fit. I very nearly sent them back. And to be honest, they stayed on better. Uh, if you saw in one of the videos, they kept popping off. But that one stayed a lot better than it did. Uh, the ones that came with it. And also, some sort of stand, a bit of blue tack. Stick it on top of a nail varnish bottle. You know, just... Just put a bit of blue tack on there and stick it on or whatever. But um, some sort of tips. So I'll put a link to these that I bought because they're quite nice. You just clip ends off without them shattering. Um, and then this sort of colour polish wheel. Um, you can buy this type as well. Um, so I've got loads of different colours and when I've, had a, when I've had a go at different stuff, they're quite a kaleidoscope. 
of stuff there. Uh, but if you tried trimming these with clippers, they just shatter. You can file them down, but uh, I'm going to get some of the um, ballerina shaped ones uh, for practicing artwork on. Well, different colours and techniques on. Um, because these were a bit small to do anything like that on. Although, you know, uh, the really good artists can paint tiny, can't they, onto smaller nails. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get those so I can try and do it without having to use my acro gel to make another big nail all the time. So, yeah, thought I'd better just come back and say tips, whatever you do, get some tips. Right, back to the vlog. I've probably just shown you this in a session, which I've, I've made with the Acrogel in the pink. Uh, it's called Tempting Fate. And the white on the end, and I've done the smile line. Anyway, I wanted to uh, keep practicing, but I wanted to know if the gel and the acrylic will go together. So, I wanted to do another smile line, but I didn't want to do a white one. So I've used the Tempting Fate again. I've done a clear layer first all over then I've do, done tempting fate as the top part there with the V file that down a bit and then because I haven't got any colour in the acrylic powder I've only got a clear one I've got some dipping powder which won't work just on its own with the monomer I tried it so what I've done is I've got this little pot and I've put three scoops using this nail tip I've used three scoops in there of the clear acrylic powder and then one and a half scoops of the dipping powder to give it some colour uh, and it's worked it's worked with the monomer so it's rock hard now whether I've managed the line all right or not I don't know but uh, it has stuck on top of the acrogel so I just used acrogel wiped it down with the non-residue um, you know the uh, sticky residue wipe off solution and then uh, i've put the acrylic on top of the um acrogel and it's it seems to be stuck on so i'm going to get me um file out and file it down and we'll have a look and see see how it ended up but it was a way of making a color out of a clear acrylic is to use this dipping powder so yeah it's it's gone hard Got a little bit of that left. So, right, I'll put my mask on. I'll get them filed down. I'll show you what it was like in a minute. Right, we'll do the reveal. But I think you can see what the problem is that I've uh, managed to achieve already. Um, I'll put some top coat on and you'll see. And you'll see the problem. You ready? Actually, it makes like quite a nice ombre, but it wasn't what I was intending. Um, so, there we go. Before I uh, put it in the lamp, I'll just show you, because it'll look the same anyway. So, the problem is that I didn't have the pink thick enough. So, it's almost uh, disappeared. You can just see it at the bottom there. The acrylic and the acrogel have stuck together and they filed off beautifully, so that's not a problem. And we've still got some glitter in this clear that I mixed in. Um, but I've filed it too thin then because I've started losing glitter in the corner. And I've lost all the pink from up there, although it's quite a pretty look to be honest, but yeah so i'm down to the clear layer that i put on at the top oh well yeah right anyway thank you all for watching i hope you've enjoyed this vlog um i know it's uh, pretty much set at the table because that's where my nail things are but uh, if you've enjoyed it and you'd like more vlogs let me know um 
or if you've got any suggestions of what you'd like me to put on the channel, what you'd like me to try, then equipment permitting, I'll have a go at that for you. So, uh, love you loads. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.